Hello everyone. In this module, you will learn how to handle errors and exceptions in Aura component. So first I will be implementing a component in that I will be throwing an error knowingly so that you can see like how uh, errors or exceptions are available in Aura component. And in another component, I will be demonstrating how we can handle that exception. So let's first create unrecoverable error component. So I'm creating lightning component. Its name will be un recoverable error. Clicking on submit. Now here I'm creating a lightning button. So this lightning buttons label will be throw error. And on click of this button, I'm going to call this method. So this is simple example like button will be placed and if you click on this button, so this method will be called and we will be throwing an error. So I am saving this typo. So corrected this, now it is saved, clicking on controller. So I just need to copy this so that I can paste it here. Now here I need to write through new error. I cannot go on. This is the end, right? So this is sample message that uh, I implemented. So you can write any other message as well. Now, if I want to test it, so I need to open demo application where I will be calling this component. So unrecoverable error, saving this, clicking on preview. So you will see a button on the UI. And uh, if I click on this button, so here uh, you can see that exception error is thrown. Right, so I cannot go on. This is the end. Right now, normally, what you want to, what you want, like if any runtime exception or error is there, so your execution should not stop. Uh, your error or exception should be handled properly, and the remaining piece of code should be executed properly. Right, so we can do that. So I am going to create one more component now, that is recoverable error. Right. So in that component, uh, you will learn how we can handle runtime exceptions. So creating new lightning component, naming it as recoverable error and clicking on submit. Right. So here I need to implement the code for the UI. So creating a P tag and writing click the button to trigger the controller to throw an error. Now here I created a div and this div or ID is div one. After that, I'm going to create lightning button so this lightning button label will be throw error and on click we are going to call this method throw error right so this is the view file of this component so the message click the button to trigger the controller to th throw an error it will be rendered on the UI and uh, this button will be displayed 
having label as through error. If you click on that button, so this through error method will be executed. And inside this method, we will be like creating a scenario where uh, exception will be generated and that uh, exception will be handled and the uh, resultant value will be displayed with the help of this state. So let's implement controller so that you can understand how we can handle the exception. So naming it as through error, creating a variable named as has perm. So it is for permission. Then try if not has perm. So if you, if uh, this variable is having false, so not will convert it into true. So we need to throw one error. So you don't have permission to edit this report. So this is sample error message that we are going to throw. So after try, we need to implement catch. So whatever error will be thrown, so that will be handled through catch. So try catch we basically use for exception handling. So if any error is thrown, so uh, that will be handled through this catch. So now I need to create dynamic components. So in my previous module, I already demonstrated you like how we can create dynamic component as per the requirement. So here you will see it's a real time use. So I am creating component So I'm creating UI messages and providing values to its properties. So UI messages first property is title. So title will be sample thrown error. Then second property is severity. So here I'm putting error. So basically, uh, severity decide like uh, which color should be there. So if it is error, so red color will be available with this message. After that, I am putting comma. So I am going to create one more dynamic component. So it will be UI output text and. Uh, property is value and in value I'm putting E dot masses. So E is available here. So whatever uh, masses is available in this E that will be value of this component, right? So closing it here, then it is closed, then comma. Now I need to write function components, status, error message. And here I need to like map these dynamically created component with the UI. So here I'm checking if status triple equals to success. So variable message equals to components of zero so basically we created two dynamic component one is ui message and one is ui output text so both will be available in this components so component zero will provide this ui message and components one will provide this output text so message will be available in this variable like uh, this zero uh, ui message component will be available in this message variable and uh, now variable output text equals to components one, right? So I hope you understood uh, how I fetched dynamically created components in um, separate variables. Now masses equal masses dot set v dot body output text. Right, so this v dot body is attribute that is available in the components view, right? So we are fetching that and we are setting output text component into that body. So this body attribute is by default available. You don't need to create it. Then I'm creating one more variable as div one. 
and component dot find div one. So basically, we created a div tag here, and its aura ID is div one. So through this aura ID, we are finding this in the JavaScript controller, and the information will be available in this in this div one. Now, what I need to do, I need to write div one dot set v dot body and message, right? So basically, what we did in the uh, body of uh, the masses that output text will be available. So this message will be outer component and this output text will be the inner component. So here we we like uh, nested output text with masses and masses we uh, put in the uh, body of this div one, right? So body is the attribute that is available with uh, each component that we use on the view. So this way, uh, this particular part is completed. So basically div one will be having this message and message having internally output text, right? So we created two dynamic components and uh, both, both are nested and uh, together they are mapped with the div one, right? Now what I need to do, I need to implement else part. So else if status is incomplete, so console.log no response from server or client is offline. Again else if status equals to error, so console.log error then concatenating error message. So error message is available here as an attribute and status is available as second parameter and components as first parameter. So this way we created dynamic components and we uh, implemented this function so that we can set those dynamic components in the body of the view, right? So here it is closed. It is closed here, then this one is closed, then function is closed, and this bracket is closed, then this curly brace. Okay, I think. We need to put semicolon. So basically this is completed here. So I don't need this. Yep, now it is completed. So, and I need to place semicolon as well. So I think now everything will match. So here you can see the, this curly base of catch is matching. And uh, yeah, this is matching. So now everything is fine. So opening and closing of these brackets are important. So uh, you need to focus on that. Now I'm just opening demo application and I'm going to use it there. So recoverable error component is placed, clicking on preview. So now it will show a message along with the button. And if I click on this button, so you can see sample through error is available and you don't have permission to edit this record, this message is available. So what, what happened? Sample through error, uh, this is the title of this message, right? Severity is error, that's why it is in red color. And uh, uh, error message is like, you don't have permission to edit this record. So it will be available in this E that we are 
assigning into this output text as value. And here I nested output text with masses and I uh, like set masses in the body of this div one. So this way I demonstrated you like how we can apply exception handling to handle the errors uh, on runtime with the help of dynamic components in Aura. Thank you.